This is Ben. More than telling stories, he enjoys listening to them. That's why, from time to time, he sits down in front of the camera and chats with his colleagues. Today, he had a great time talking to Kalen, an enterprise account executive at Airslate. So, Kalen, I heard that you uh, took a couple Airslate Academy courses yeah. and uh, you recently got certified. I saw on, on LinkedIn. Uh, congrats. Thank you. Uh, I just wanted to talk, you know, see, uh, get a little bit about, you know, find out what you enjoyed about it and how you're putting your new skills to, to use and how you're helping sure. our customers. So I guess I just want to start with what courses did you take? Yep, I started and completed the Airslate Fundamentals. So there were three courses as part of that. It was really geared towards, I wouldn't say beginners, but like those that are just getting into it because it covered like high level what mm -hmm. we can do. So how you set your workspace up, how you might initially begin to work on a flow in the different components. And for me, you know, I've been selling the product for a few years now and it was just a, a refresh as well as there were a few little niches I hadn't been aware of yet. Mm -hmm. We're constantly releasing new features. And so it's great to just take a step back and see, okay, what yeah. would be helpful for people that are first getting into it? Maybe I could speak to those, you know, concepts more. Excellent. Um, how long, oh, my hair is all crazy. <laughs> <Light data. laughs> um, what level of proficiency would you say that these courses are for? Are they for, you know, people with no tech experience? Are they for techie people? No, I'd say definitely no tech. Um, it, it didn't talk too much about the bots. And I think that's my, that's where more the, te the techiness comes into place. Mm -hmm. It didn't focus too much on the bots, which I feel like there's a little bit more skill required for those. Mm -hmm. um, so this was more of uh, getting started, essentially. Got it. Cool. Um, how long would you say it took to complete? Yep. So I, I like the flow, you know, I'm a visual person. So it was like mm -hmm. instructions and then it had like quick little live repeating videos yeah. so I could see where, you know, things were happening and I could like replicate it. Um, mm -hmm. so like, depending on how long you, you know, kind of watch the video, um, uh, maybe 30 to 40 minutes. Cool. Cool. Much. Okay. Uh, you know, you've been around Airslate for a while. Uh, but I'm wondering what was, what was one thing you learned? What was like, what was a surprising thing? Yeah. So what surprised me was more of the setup. You know, I, when I'm talking to prospects or, or clients, I'm talking about their workflow and how they'd set it up mm -hmm. with the actual workspace setup. I learned a lot and making mm -hmm. things easier down the line for assigning user roles. And we have like the concept of groups. And so we build a flow and we want to share that with a certain group. So just like the back end kind of workspace setup. It's really mm -hmm. helpful for me to see that. Okay, cool. So that sounds like it's sort of helping you uh, address and solve your uh, customers and your prospects, uh, you know, some common problems. Are there any other, you know, common problems that you see talking to customers that this course or sure. maybe even other courses you want to take in the future that, that those might solve? Yeah. So, I mean, I get into a rhythm of how I might pitch it. So it was just helpful for me to go back and just like, refresh terminology, mm -hmm. like the concept of flow and workflow and bots and like um, templates and just like taking a step back and like really addressing what those mean. Because it, you know, in my world, it might not mean the same as it would in a, a you know, the, the prospect I'm talking to. Yeah. So just, yep. you know, really understanding what those mean to us and being able to relay that to them. And so I think, you know, for me personally, uh, this was my first Airslate Academy course, so I really just wanted to see what, what it was about. And I think, uh, you know, ideally, I where we shine is like document generation and, and mm -hmm. these dynamic forms. And I think that'd be my next. I'd love to dive into that more so I could speak to that a little better. Yeah, great. Um, you mentioned a little bit about the, the format of the courses. What was your favorite part about the style and the way that the information was presented? Yeah, yeah I love it had like a table of contents, so I knew what was coming up. Mm -hmm. So if I'm like, oh, I don't think that got addressed, it, it's later on. I love that it was kind of just scrolling through and there's like text. And then again, kind of that little quick, short live video. You don't have to press play. It's just like going. Mm -hmm. um, so I loved just kind of you just flow through and then you take a little quiz, which is always helpful to know if you retained, you know, the information you just read. Right, right, right. Do you think that Airslate Academy courses, even for our customers who are, you know, 
using Air Slate and doing what they're doing well, do you, would you recommend the Academy for almost every you know user of Air Slate to just get better at it and learn what else they can do? Absolutely. I think, you know, they come in with the need. We like to address that. And I think this would be a great place to see what else is available. And then it's your own way of learning it. And then, mm -hmm. you, you know, you can always ping your rep or your engineer with questions. But I think it's a great starting place to see what's possible. And if you're able to set it up yourself, even better. Mm -hmm. so absolutely. Great. I think not just for getting started, but as you have more workflows or as you want to do more things, it's a great resource. Cool. Um, just before we close, just go over one more time. What what were the courses that you took? What was the certification you got? And are there any courses you might want to take in the future? Yes, I took Air Slate Fundamentals. Uh, so there are three courses on essentially kind of getting started. Um, so my certificate was, you know, Air Slate Fundamentals. Mm -hmm. uh, I think for me moving forward, love to get into more document generation and, and that component. Great. Cool. Um, so I saw you, the reason why we're talking is because I saw you on LinkedIn post uh, your academy certification. Um, you know, it's a, one of the best things about the academy is when you're certified, you share your certification online and people take notice, including employers and, you know, people on all over LinkedIn. How did your post do? Yeah, absolutely. So I, I posted a good amount and, you know, mostly it's like case studies, or, or you know news about the company or myself and like i get a lot of internal you know feedback but mm -hmm. this was the first one where i've gotten a lot of outside from partners i work with or customers or prospects are reacting and noticing it um so kind of encouraging me to to do more on, on, along those lines and i think for others that that take the courses it you know could only benefit them yeah totally 